Good morning, Internet. It is uh, seven past seven in the morning and welcome back to the channel. The sun is just coming up here. Look at this amazing sunrise and the moon is still there as well. So I'm now in Sesrim in the Namib desert and I'm leaving early this morning because today will be a long day. I'm going to cover 350 kilometers and except for the first stretch over here that's all going to be unpaved and uh, maybe not in such a good condition but the destination of today is a place called Walvis Bay. it's Namibia's uh, biggest port town I believe but uh, when I get there I will get the map out and uh, show you my route but for now I just uh, want to make sure that I leave early This was the end of the, oh, what was it, nine kilometer tar. From now on, it will be 341 unpaved. What a beautiful morning. I am back in solitaire. This is my last opportunity to uh, fill up and then for the next 270 kilometers there's absolutely nothing. So I'm gonna make sure that uh, my tanks are full and then I bring some food with me. Okay, I brought a piece of their famous apple pie <laughs> from the bakery. Oh, I'm going wrong. Oops. To Walvis Bay. That's where I am heading. Look, Oryx. the Tropic of Capricorn well not really of course but uh, the sign is at least here you can barely read it anymore <laughs> it's quite a, a windy morning again and there's all this sand blowing in my face the whole time <laughs> so Savannah and me are um, being sound blasted again a little bit but any case so now this is where the sign of the Tropic of Capricorn is. It depends a little bit on 
how long ago they put the sign here, how accurate it still is, because the Tropic of Capricorn is not on a fixed location, but it's moving northwards. Um, I already explained this uh, phenomena in uh, season three, when I was in Norway. Oof. I, I told you that the Arctic Circle is moving northwards um, at a speed of 15 meters per year. And of course the same goes for the Tropic of Capricorn. So this is also moving northwards at a speed of 15 meters per year. So yeah, depends a little bit on uh, when they put it here, <laughs> how far it is off the real location of the tropic. But anyway, details, details. Um, other than that, I'm making pretty good progress. Uh, 220 kilometers to go. And um, is it getting interesting? Yes, yeah, so after I've completed this little loop, um, then I'm going to take a very small road. Oof, all oh, this sand. Oh. Um, anyway, and I think it's going to be uh, pretty awesome to ride there. So I'm, I'm really, that's kind of my goal of today to ride there. But uh, first I have to get there. Oh, look at all this sand. Oh. Why? Okay, I think it's time to move on. All this sand. Oi. Just passing through a canyon now. It's pretty cool. I am entering the Swakopmund district. Oh, it's actually paved over here. Probably won't last long, but... Check this out. I just wonder if this is the Kuisep River. Yes, it is, yeah. So this is the Kuisep River. Well, it's now dry. This river uh, only has water in the rainy season. And then it can become like a torrent, like really dangerous, fast flowing river. But most of the time it is dry. And this is the river that I'll be following for a lot longer. So I'll see a lot more of it. Well, the, the dry river then. Okay, the dry river. <laughs> oh, and some paved again. Ah, spectacular. Bep. That's where I'm going. I'm going to take this little road here.
is so extremely desolate here. I am riding pretty remotely. I haven't seen anyone for quite a while and I actually don't think I will see anyone. <laughs> Alright, this place straight ahead is called Mirabib and uh, I'm just going to try to find some shelter against the wind have a small break eat some of the goodies that I got in the bakery before I continue It's just as far as I can see, it's all these gravel plains. Flat, flat, flat. And then <laughs> you suddenly get this. Amazing. Let's find a place where I can sit a little bit sheltered from the wind. Look at that, there's a picnic spot just for me. <laughs> Incredible. Not the healthiest lunch, but I think it is a good one anyway. This is some pastry called pig's ears, I think. And apple crumble, I think, pie. I don't have a fork to properly eat this, but it's very nice. Okay, re-energized, straight back into the wind, <laughs> okay. and some more desolation, look at this. Bumpy. Savannah is getting another real proper proper beating on this stuff. There's literally no speed is good. <laughs> Fast is not good, slow is not good. I just have to get through it. It's the only way. The visibility is uh, not so good anymore. There's a lot of sand blowing over the road there. I start seeing on the horizon what I came here for. Getting closer now, finally. Wow, unbelievable this wind. But look where I am. Here are the dunes again. And this is also where the dunes end. So all the way from uh, Cessary, where I left this morning, the dunes just kept on continuing north until this point. This is where the dunes end and I will show you why. 
Um, I have reached uh, Goba Beb. It's not a town, but this is a uh, scientific research station. So, other than some scientists, there's nothing here, I think. Wow, I can just see all the sand just blowing over there. It's almost like a sandstorm. It's time to uh, change my plan. Visibility is really poor with this wind and sand and I don't know how bad it's gonna get. And um, this Gobabeb research station, I don't know, on maps me it says that there's a hotel. Now obviously it's not really a hotel hotel but I think they have some accommodation for scientists when they get there. And I'm just going to ask if I can stay the night. Just continuing straight into that sandstorm is maybe not the best idea. Okay. Let's see if they can host me for the night. Go by Web Research and Training Center. They have given me a room. Um, this one. This is where I'll be staying tonight. And so this was my route today. I started out this morning in Sesrim. And then I first I backtracked all the way here, then I continued here, 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 and then here I took a road. Well, it's not even on here, but here I just went like this, and now I am in Goba Beb. And from here, the plan is to continue here to Walvis Bay. So it is still windy, but at least the wind has gone down a little bit. So um, there is uh, Savannah. It's a little bit better now the condition, so I'm just going to have a small walk to the river uh, and to the dunes on the other side. But yeah, I'm really happy they let me stay here because it was a little bit dangerous driving through all that sand, not even seeing where the road is. <laughs> Apparently it's quite common over here. So this is already the, the Kui Sep, so the same river that I crossed earlier. water it originates close to Windhoek and then it carries water 300 kilometers straight through the Namib desert and it ends somewhere east of Valvis Bay. I don't believe it actually reaches the coast and when there is water here this becomes such a raging torrent that it washes away all the sand of the sand dunes that are trying to migrate up northwards 
So because of that you get this sharp natural border between the great sea of sand on the one side and the gravel plains on the other side. This, wow, spectacular and this is the reason why I came here. I just really wanted to see this and see where these dark beautiful red sand dunes end and it is here. So yeah, even though I didn't make it to Wolfish Bay, I will try there to go there tomorrow morning when the wind is hopefully a little bit more manageable. Okay, let's continue the ride. It is 94 kilometers left to Walvish Bay and the wind has gone, huh. which is fantastic. So uh, I don't have to worry about crazy sandstorms. Oh, it was so awesome to stay here. Uh, they're mostly biologists uh, doing research to all sorts of organisms living in the desert. But there's also some people with uh, geoscience degrees. And uh, yeah, they just stay out here pretty isolated. So they were, I think they were happy to see me and have some person, other person to talk to. <laughs> now I can continue again. And now that it is clear, you can already see from here how the sand dunes just end there at the river and then here it's just flat, flat plains. Back on Tar, I'm almost in the Walvis Bay. It's a 14 kilometers to go, so almost there. See, and here are the sand dunes again. So the river doesn't actually make it all the way to the coast. So this is the only area where the sand dunes have managed to migrate northward. I have arrived in Walvis Bay. Walvis Bay. I don't have a booking or anything, so I'm just going to 
looks for a place to stay now. Wow, look at that! Oh, I see thousands and thousands of flamingos. Okay, I'll go have a look at that later. Let's check out this place. to stay tonight um, so in the next video I'll go explore around Walvis by and uh, see uh, all what's here but for now I think this was it for today I really hope you liked this video if you did please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and then I'll see you in the next video